So the drawing in the thumbnail of this video is an overpaint and retouch of a drawing I did a couple months back in November. While I'm not an expert at drawing by any means, compared to my first portrait drawings I attempted two and a half years ago, and there's a couple of areas where I think I've improved significantly. I wanted to make this video to document my progress and what I've learned and hopefully provide some useful insights and motivation if drawing or more specifically digital art is something you're hoping to pick up or get back into. In around November of 2020, I decided to try to learn drawing portraits or human subjects in general. While I didn't have any experience with it at the time, I did have experience with vector art and graphic design. On screen are a bunch of the practice drawings and sketches I did in my free time throughout 2021 and 2022, and through that process I've learned a couple of things. Generally, I'll sketch out the line art, then lay in some flat base colors, and finally render in some details and effects, and use the liquify tool to fix any glaring proportion or placement errors. Sometimes, like in this Chainsaw Man fan art I made, I'll change up poses or color schemes between the initial sketch and final drawing. I find that this happens more when I don't finish the drawing in one sitting and come back to it a day or two later. For this character that I created, there was honestly no reason for making him shirtless other than practicing anatomy. But now, having actually learned anatomy for my degree, there's a lot that stands out to me as missing, like his serratus anterior and obliques. To illustrate a technique I tend to use a lot, here's Bettina Art's character Riker I drew for her 20k Draw This In Your Style Challenge. For you photographers or video editors, you probably already do this. It's color grading. Basically, I draw with more muted colors, which is kind of like shooting in log, cine style, or some neutral profile on a camera. And then I selectively bring up the vibrance and saturation in the highlights, midtones, and shadows. Because I can adjust exposure in other settings like hue and color temperature in post, it gives leeway for changing things up a little. After two and a half years, I'm not sure if I have an art style, but I think that I started improving the most after I stopped trying to create my own art style and instead focused on learning anatomy and understanding the human body in three-dimensional planes and using references especially for aspects such as lighting. I use Procreate for all of my digital art, and I'm pretty sure all of the drawings I've included in this video were made with a combination of these five brushes. The default round brush, soft brush, flat brush, 6B pencil, and a free G pen, which I'll leave the download link for in the description. Anyways, I'd love to hear about your personal art journeys, thoughts, or questions you have in the comments. Thanks for watching.